the mayor was out sign waving but not for his re-election. He was helping Pearl City Highlands Elementary School students remind drivers to slow down when driving in a school zone. We had a massive sign waving uh, effort this morning asking people to slow down, to not go as fast in a school zone, go 25 or under, don't run red lights. When it's yellow, stop and don't speed up and definitely don't go through the red light because people get hurt and people die just up the street from here. Someone died not too long ago. We're asking people, you know, you may get to work five minutes later than planned, but you may save a life in, in the process. So we're asking people to do this. The mayor was not the only one lending a hand. Council member Breen Harimoto, whose district includes Pearl City, was there, as well as a few legislators and police officers. We had everyone out here. We had our state senator, um, David Ige, here. We had our state legislature, Greg Takayama, here. We had Council Member Breen Harimoto who helped put this whole thing together. We had the junior police officers in the area show up. We had HPD. We had maybe 50 or 60 Kiwit people. We had all kinds of folks. And it just shows that people love their community. And we're asking them to show that love by slowing down. The city is also doing its part in keeping pedestrians safe with its Complete Streets demonstration project. The first one is being tested on Ulune Street near Aiea High School. The project uses traffic calming solutions such as narrow lanes, shoulder lane parking, back and angle parking, and median strips to make roads safer for pedestrians and motorists. We're passionate about making our streets safer and better for everyone. The city has plans to do two more Complete Streets demonstration projects in the near future.